Today's episode of Fantasy Fiction is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audibletrial.com slash fantasyfiction. Over 100,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Kindle, MP3 player, or Magic Stone. Today we're recommending A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Impress your friends with real-life magic. Act like you read a long book without any actual reading. Think of all the masturbating you'll get done. So if you're enjoying the show, give the free trial a chance. That's audibletrial.com slash fantasyfiction. Enjoy the episode. Reese's, put down that Merc Monk. But he's my friend. In the land of fantasy and the fields of fiction, there are all two knights across the plain. Two thieves of the night, two warriors of honor, in the shadow of the mountain cry their name. Until the deed is done Until the quest is won The battle's in our minds Until the end of time Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fantasy Fiction. My name is Dominic. My name is Josh. And today we're doing something a little different Mm -hmm. because... Because we're hanging out today. (laughs) Yes. Because I'm moving away, and we got to get our good hangs in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we designated Saturday to you and I hanging out. Yeah. We were going to actually have fun. Yeah. Not and, that we don't have fun on the show, but... But because we did, right. because we decided to do that, like s- the selfish bastards we are, Yes. Uh, we've just robbed everyone of their stories this week. Yeah, they don't get it, because we made some decisions that led to this. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I mean, you've been working all week, right? You've been doing a ton oh, of work. Yeah, I did like uh about 400 things this week, which usually I spread things out pretty evenly so I don't start to lose my mind, but you can only sit in front of a computer for, for so many hours. 10 hours a day for so many days <laughs> before you start to go crazy. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. I used to edit at this uh at this editing house in yeah. Venice. And uh, I would just do assistant editing, mm. and I would be sitting there in front of a computer listening to the same goddamn song oh over God. and over and over again. I don't know if they ever used it, but I <laughs> well, it, better. <laughs> well, no, well, well, they were mock commercials okay. for like real commercials. So I did a series for uh, uh, a, I was just I, I guess. It, They'll never find me, but just bro- under, <laughs> just because uh, I did sign a piece of paper that says I am not allowed to talk about yeah. it. But anyway, a, a beauty care product right. used a uh, children's uh, rendition of "Sweet Child of Mine," uh-huh. uh, accompanied by a piano. That's pretty and, creepy. And I could not stand oh listening to that song for like three or four days. I had to listen to that song all day but not even the whole song just a just clip parts. of that yeah. song yeah so just parts of it but you can you just slowly go mad <laughs> i worked i worked for a guy one time who like he he like how how this usually works if you like ever edited anything for anyone anyone out there who's ever done anything like this if you edit something for somebody they just learn about editing like it was invented two days ago and they want to get it hard. <laughs> so this dude bought like a fucking new iMac. This is like a couple of years ago, like uh-huh. 2009 or whatever. This dude buys an iMac and I'm, I'm, I'm over there and I'm getting paid like to do this at a very cheap rate, mm-hmm. by the way. And because uh, editors make like insanely a lot of money. Well, like it's a lot of work. It's, right. And to be a good editor, that's like you, you, you pay for that time. It's a highly... It's a it's a very uh, unique skill set. It's very difficult to do. It I think. Hey, I'll say. I'm not trying I, to suck my own. <laughs> when I was working those assistant editing gigs, and I had like a couple yeah. in a month, I was doing good, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, you like. Well, you were in Los Angeles doing that. I'm in fucking southeast. Yeah. PA. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Like that to give you an idea of right, how right, exactly. well an editor is paid. Exactly. So this guy, like, you know, wanted me to edit for like all day and at some point i'm just like i gotta stop dude because like i'm not i'm done like yeah that's it i'm out <laughs> yeah you're just like ah well you know if you were paying me anywhere near what i should be paying right if you were giving me a hundred dollars an hour i'll sit here for 12 hours <laughs> but you're not paying me near that <laughs> well the, be- the best part about that that editing gig mm. is that like you would a lot of the time have to wait on the creatives to come back with yeah. notes. 
and they kind of really take their time sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes you're there till like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. But you get that OT. You get money. You get an OT. There is OT <laughs> yeah, and it is dope. That's pretty sweet. Holy shit. But, I should have uh, done that. You should have done that. You should have come to LA with me, man. All right. Hitch a ride. All Let's right. Go. That's it. I'm we'll the see if you can get you a job there. We'll go knock on the door. <laughs> Here's my friend, Josh. <laughs> He's... He looks he's, crazy. He looks like he bites, but he's got a he's got a computer knows his way around a desktop, all right? He needs something put in the trash can, he knows how to recycle. I know it. where that is. <laughs> uh, when we worked at Gamer Vision, that was one of my jobs. <laughs> I was the trash well, before, guy. well before it was your job, it was my yeah, job. Yeah, it was the new guy's job. It was, it was always to, the new guy's yeah. job, but yeah. Then there were no new guys after me. So and, well and then there were no more <laughs> then guys. There were, then it was nobody. <laughs> If you don't know what we're talking about, we used to work at this website called Gamer Vision, and that's mm. how we kind of first started working together. It was yeah. like this little website run out of rural PA. Yeah, so, near an airport. Near an airport, like a yeah. tiny ass airport. <laughs> yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny <laughs> airport where like rich people who go, I'm going to learn how to fly. Yeah. And that's where they learn how to fly. I've mastered year. boating. Time to master the sky. <laughs> Chewing on a pipe. But Lover. It, <laughs> but anyway, what all that leads up to is that um, Josh has been super busy this week. We had this day to hang, which mm. is usually our writing day. Yeah, um, I usually write on Saturday. I Friday, usually, or Saturday. Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are usually devoted to writing. <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> Monday morning. Writing. No, well, I write throughout the week a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I chip away at it, and then I really roll it out on the last couple of days because the rest of the week is devoted to shipping, uh, yeah. dealing with the various duties that uh, are keeping up a podcast and polishing your swords polishing your swords basically what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna shoot the breeze Mm -hmm. hang out this is the first official wizard hang wizard hang we'll have we'll have an episode next week but we didn't want to just give you guys nothing to listen to yeah so listen to our voice (laughs) listen to our real life adventures which might be as interesting as could be yeah as interesting we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see how this goes <laughs> should we use the we should use the transition music just oh just yeah. Because. yeah all right so here's our first story coming up it's the story of us hanging out stay tuned <laughs> all right music goes here <laughs> music goes here <laughs> Josh, so what did we do? What, what do you want to talk about first? You want to talk about the bomb breakfast we just had? Let's go chronologically. Okay, so, so what did we do yesterday? So yesterday I waited around <laughs> forever, forever. <laughs> I waited around until about eight o'clock when you guys finally showed up to hang out. Yeah, it was it was a uh, well. Paul and I we had to shoot. You guys something. had you guys had more work. You were yeah. You were there's working. no rest on Saturday, the Lord's Day. Yeah, the real Lord's yeah. Day. Yeah. Jesus is a cool friend, yeah. Jason. <laughs> Everyone had a cool friend named Jason. Hell yeah, dude! I knew Jason in elementary school. Yeah, who uh, was got, was going to fight a kid one day. Yeah, and he showed up in a leather jacket. <laughs> dude. Yeah, I want to be his friend now in yeah. now school. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what he's up to now. He's but. probably in jail. <laughs> but you know, there's a good chance he's probably not. He was a good kid. Did he get scared straight? <laughs> he got scared straight. He had to hold on to that guy's pocket. I own you. <laughs> Follow him around. <laughs> but you guys got over, and we. Yeah. Um, what did we do first? We ordered some food, and we got yes. the most amazing buffalo chicken cheese. Things. I am. Uh, obsessed with buffalo chicken cheesesteaks i went through um after we worked at gamer vision i still worked with them and stuff i went through a period of buying buffalo chicken cheesesteaks from everywhere that had them Mm because i wanted to eat them Mm -hmm. so we got that and i was i would stick my wiener in that (laughs) cheesesteak you would make love to that food fuck well you (laughs) so you went on a kick i only ever I think had just like a chicken cheese steak. Yeah. Which is like the same thing without the... Without the sauce. Without the, the yeah. buffalo 
sauce and the blue, blue cheese which makes it which is amazing because you bite into it and it's like this gooey delicious oh, hot sandwich <laughs> it's like biting into sex it's like probably what sex tastes, tastes like, like. <laughs> <laughs> just oh it's about as messy it, as it looks a little bit like it too <laughs> 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 but anyway, those were amazing, and then we uh, 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 we hung out and we played some NBA Jam. I got my ass kicked from uh, our friend Ian, our friend Ian, who you might know him as Billy Billy Kumo Hara from yeah. the Chikara. Yeah, he does some Chikara stuff. So he kicked my ass at NBA Jam, and then we uh, oh on NBA Jam. The top scores on my cartridge that are actually saved on there <laughs> yeah. are butt, ass, and whiz. Those are the best players. And they have like 76 wins. 70, 79 and 0. Yeah, 79 and 0, like, seven, like 47 and 0. Like these crazy streaks that these people put. Like I feel great <laughs> that I have this cartridge because if yeah. on the second, like after the menu goes to the high scores, on the second high score list, it's just butt, ass, yes, and whiz. whiz. In the biggest text. Yeah. It's pretty great. And it says you won against all, I think, what is it, at that point was 27 teams or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like which teams you've beaten. Yeah. yeah. And then we played some NHL 97. Yeah, you had like a series. You and Paul had Paul a... and I had a series. I was playing as the St. Louis Blues. Mm. In, in that year, they had Gretzky, Pronger, and Brett Hall. Brett Hall, yeah. And that, team, that team's amazing. It's a lot of fun to play with. Pa- Paul played as the Flyers, the 97 course. Flyers, which were also incredible. Yeah. The series <laughs> went to the final game at home in St. Louis uh-huh. where, pa- where the Philadelphia Flyers won the Stanley Cup. Yeah. And it was a little unfortunate for Wayne Gretzky. Because he didn't get his cup. He didn't get his seventh. He didn't get his 90th <laughs> cup or whatever he has. Uh, but then <laughs> we watched... A movie. We did. We we wanted to watch something uh, fun, I guess. So you know what? I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. I don't think everyone wanted to watch my mystery science theater. Yeah, I know. I knew you wanted. to. I love it. Yeah, and I knew I wanted to. <laughs> I made the executive decision. This is my party. Yeah, I put on the VHS of Mitch. It was an actual VHS. <laughs> it was an actual VHS. <laughs> my brother is a plumber. Uh, and he did a job pro bono for just like a stash of uh, video games and movies. Yeah. And in that stash was a couple Mystery Science Theater VHSs. So I took them, and this is an excellent <laughs> quality copy. So he repaired these people's plumbing. So they could poop again. So they could poop again. <laughs> and you were like, give me this tape. Yeah, let me get that tape. Let me get that. I also got a copy of Warcraft 2 and Diablo for PlayStation. Oh my god. All right, that's for the collection, okay? That's That doesn't get touched. No. I love Warcraft, 2? Warcraft 2? Oh Warcraft 2 for PlayStation. I'll probably never play it because it's not a good port, but anyway. No, yeah, you can. But Mitchell, <laughs> Mitchell is yeah. my, oh, you know, it's tough, but Mitchell's one of my favorite episodes. It's well, it's considered probably the best. I, I mean, anyone who likes Mystery Science Theater 3000 would say that that's probably the, the funniest. If you could rate it, it's all relative. but it, it may be Joel's best episode. Yeah. I also really like Final Sacrifice. Which one's that one? I don't know. That's that the one, one with Ro, uh, Rose Dower. Rose Dower. Um, there is a running joke about Larry... Uh, Zonka. Zonka. Yeah. yeah there's Zonka. a running, running joke about him. Do you remember that? Uh, no, I don't know if I've ever uh, seen that one. Well, it's like this Canadian horror movie and it's terrible. Oh, yeah. But the best episodes, we talked about this last night, are the ones where the movie is bad enough right. that it's actually still watchable, like so bad it's good. Right. Like some of the ones, like Santa Claus versus the Martians, it's like so bad that the plot of the movie there's is no like plot. unwatchable. Yeah. Yeah. There are movie. There are ones that are, you know, that are just like scenes there's a compilation yeah. of scenes that happened once yeah and there's no it's hard to like build you know like in mitchell it's great because they build these jokes up and they mm-hmm. keep like referencing these old the, jokes you know the, it just pays off over and over yeah. again because the movie is so bad it goes nowhere yeah. like never once do you appreciate the hero at you all you don't care about him ever like, like he shows you time and time again that he's a bad guy. Yeah, and not like a cool bad guy. <laughs> no, like a shitty one who smokes like, and drinks Schlitz. He's like if your stepdad was like Han Solo, <laughs> but not as cool as Han. Like he's just your stepdad. He's just your stepdad. And you're like fucking fuck uh, you. you. You're just shitty to me. God damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> but we watched the part. Uh, the one of my favorite parts is when he yells at the kid. <laughs> oh God! But he just copying the kid over and over again. It's so. And he screams at him. He's like, "Get out of here!" He probably him. was really mad. At yeah. Him. Joe Don Baker, Joe the guy Don who Baker. plays Mitchell, was probably like, "This is bullshit." But that's a that's a really great episode because it's it's constantly funny. Yeah. When he <laughs> when Mitchell is having a sex scene, that might be the funniest part of the Mystery Science Theater episode. There, that sex scene is bananas. It's ridiculous. Like There's it's a, a weird idea of what happens in sex. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently a lot of feet touching. A lot of feet touching and yeah. face rubbing. Yeah. Like rubbing of each other's faces on a face. And apparently you move around so much that you're never in the same one position for more than one second. Yeah. So your face is on one side. There's no one, the 180 degree rule. Anyone who likes movies. It's gone, out the window. Gone. Hey, guess what? Sex is wild and untamable and so is this scene. There's one part where they build like a tent out of the sheets. Yeah. Which is what sex is. Which is what sex is. At a certain point, you're like, do you want to just make a fort? Yeah. You want to hang out and eat pizza in this fort? <laughs> well, he goes and grabs yeah. the uh, <laughs> almost empty six pack mm. with his foot. And uh, that's a, a, a terrible part. Nothing is sexier than someone grabbing something with their toe. Oh, God. Ugh. Especially Joe Don Baker. <laughs> When he first appears, uh, I think uh, uh, Joel goes, our hero, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. sleeping in the back of a cop yeah. car. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you really like Soul Taker, though. Soul Taker is great because uh, Soul Taker is kind of like, like early 80s-ish. And I really like just shitty, you know, I don't like shitty movies, but I like, like if I'm going to watch a shitty movie like we were saying... You want it to be so bad it's good, and you right. can follow it and just laugh right. at how bad it is. And a lot of 80s movies sort of, they nailed that in the 80s. Yeah. They kind of got that down. <laughs> Who's the one bad guy in that? He's one of the Sheen brothers, Yeah, right? he's a... Oh, a Sheen relative. Yeah, he's a Sheen. I forget what his first name But is. they do a couple of his movies, because Werewolf yeah. is also one of his yeah. movies. he does also a an, Also a very good episode mm-hmm. of Mystery Science Theater. What are some other ones, man? There's so many, though. There's Final Justice is good. Yeah. There, uh, is that the one Joan with the, Baker. the laser gun? What's the one with the laser gun? Oh, laser blast. Laser blast. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ega is another one. Okay, yeah. Uh, that one's pretty There's good. There's one with the, the the sea monster scientist. Oh, the doctor. Uh, he like, yeah, he like turns himself into a sea monster. Yeah, yeah. I I, I've watched what. that one too. I forget. It's got the illustrated cover, I think. Yeah, that well. one's kind of one of the ones where you're like, this isn't even a movie. It's kind of just a series of things happening they shot it on a fucking slide projector <laughs> yeah well, it, 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 it's, fu- it's funny because that period of bad movies is both gone but it's mm-hmm. still kind of around like when you watch a lot of those movies like catalina caper mm-hmm. and like egan like they're all just shot in like california yeah like and, in the desert yeah just in the yeah. desert or something or in catalina in right. the case of that one yeah but uh that's what um mitchell is it's just shot around like I don't know the one hundred and one. <laughs> there's one. Yeah, there's one part when we were talking about the house, how they had all that '60s sort of furniture. Uh, yeah, mid-century modern furniture. Yeah. yeah, and like I'm like, this is like an actual human lives in this house because mm-hmm. like the, the I was looking at the background and there's like a stack of books. And I'm like, they didn't set dress. No, that. they didn't set. No, this movie's not good enough to do that. <laughs> they just, <laughs> they just, just somebody's home. Found the house, and they were like, "This looks like we want to shoot here. Like, this is the shot." It's so crazy because, like, knowing everything about script writing that yeah. you can, it's so easily accessible and everything. When you see a movie like Mitchell, you're like, "Holy shit! Somebody wrote this. Somebody read it, and they actually made it." How far, yo, know, would that get if you or I did it? Because, like, like who the fuck? I guess it still happens. There's like The Room and uh, Birdemic and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's just so bizarre. Not to that level anymore. Not to that budget. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was shot on film. Yeah. I mean, that was like, there was no like, oh, this is cheap. Everything was like, this is 10 grand at least, at least for a half of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy. But we watched watched some Mitchell. Uh Had a great time watching some Mitchell. Yeah. Then we watched some WWF Saturday Night Main Event. Yeah. The Mega, the Mega, the Mega, mega Powers. powers. <laughs> Watch the Mega Powers episode where it's like half of it is Macho Man yeah. being beat up by the Honky Tonk Man and the Heart Foundation, the Heart Foundation yeah. and Jimmy Hart. Yeah. Who gets uh, knocked out like he deserves. Because uh, he's a jerk. That's yeah. what you're waiting for is the, the comeuppance of the bad guys. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, Hogan wrestled. 
uh, one of those Samoan dudes. Yeah, and then Skull they cut. And Breaker, yeah, whatever. whatever his and then name and is. then they cut that incredible promo at the end of it. Hulk Hogan's like unsure about the the pact he just made. Well, he's like he's like I'm a little nervous because uh, we might be setting we're, we're we might be dealing with something really crazy here or like whatever he's talking about when he's like yeah. when their hands are gonna touch and it's gonna explode. <laughs> He's going, could go out to the atmosphere, the ionosphere, the stratosphere. Yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, like watching like them act out the thing that they're setting up. Like they, because they they set it all up, right? Like mm-hmm. it's all like, well, like they know. Right. What's funny about that promo is that you have two huge personalities, and they're both waiting to try and get in to be like, and this is why I'm the best. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah. And it's like. It's just so awesome to watch because it's 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 an incredible promo and there's just so much energy and then they shake hands and then they walk <laughs> off holding, holding hands, hands together, which is beautiful. It's beautiful it's... and it's Macho Man's face turn too. Oh yeah, yeah, he's good. He's a good guy then, right? Yeah, but then he kind of turns back. He gets a little jealous. Well, yeah, um, the Twin Towers—that's what they were called. <laughs> uh, Akeem the Amer- uh, oh, the, no. uh, Akeem the African Dream. Yeah, and. Uh, Big boss man. Mm-hmm. They wrestle uh, Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan, and there's a miscommunication, and Macho Man goes off on Hogan. Yeah, he well, attacks him. He, he attacks thinks him. he wants to have sex with Miss Elizabeth, which he probably does. He probably did in real life have yeah, sex. Yeah, like with Hogan, Hogan's kind of like the bad guy in that, in yeah. that gimmick, but yeah, um, he yeah, gets a the, little handsy. But it did. <laughs> handsy. Mega Powers did lead up to. The first SummerSlam, Mega yeah. Powers versus the Mega Bucks. Yeah, I may have talked about this before on the show. I love that. I love that angle. I this is that was like a huge part of my childhood was like watching like like where how are you gonna watch like Royal Rumble because they didn't have like networks and like you had to pay per view that shit. Yeah, it's what made pay per view legit. Yeah, that's what people started using pay per view for. Yeah. wrestling. I'm, I I may have said this before. I got WrestleMania nine on my ninth birthday. That's a really good birthday. That's it was sweet. I, we had to go to my grandparents, so I had my party at my grandparents because they had the box. Oh yeah, because you needed the box to get the cable, you mm-hmm. know. Because like I didn't have, we didn't have that whatever back when you could have different cable. <laughs> 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 it was a great birthday. Somebody wound up getting hit and crying or something. Probably hey man, me. that's what happens when wrestling goes down, dude. 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 Energy is running wild <laughs> the mega the mega mega birthday powers. <laughs> uh and then the party concluded yes. with a little bit of carvel ice cream cake, cake. i didn't you have see, any when you come to my house for a party you're getting the best the best kind of cake i no it wasn't a cookie puss though we wanted to get a cookie puss, but we didn't have the time. Why we, did we had they to get not the make store. them? They make them at the Carvel stores. You have to call and order one. Oh. But they don't sell them in like the freezer aisle of what the grocery the shit? store. I would buy a cookie puss ice cream cake every day. Well, we were that. gonna get we were gonna get the Irish uh, relative of Cookie Puss <laughs> for March, the month of March. Okay. Cookie Cookie Opus. Cookie Opus. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's what his name that's is. That's clever. They just put put a little shamrock on them or something (laughs) give him a shamrock i like that cookie puss so if you're unfamiliar with cookie puss it's an ice cream cake made from carvel cakes which is an east coast chain uh of delicious ice cream cakes it's been around for fucking ever forever for a very long time fudgy the whale he's also an ice cream cake you may be familiar with but cookie puss is this character from outer space which is just tom carvel's voice like put through a weird high pitch filter <laughs> and Tom Carvel, who Pine Oswald has a great bit on him, who sounds like, uh, 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 who's that singer bone machine. He did, uh, uh, Tom Waits. If okay. Tom Waits, yeah, if yeah, Tom yeah, Waits yeah, yeah. Uh, gargled asphalt. That's yeah, what yeah. Uh, Tom Carvel oh sounds God. like. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's his voice put through a high pitch filter, and it's just uh, a little face on an ice cream. And they say it's Cookie Puss, and he came from outer space. But I like that the outer space alien has an Irish cousin. Yeah. Oh yeah, Cookie Opus. He's like out out there in space. There's more Irish people. They're and, probably and there's a there's a race of cakes of Irish cakes. I like to think that at one point <laughs> Ireland became too populated, and they're like ship some of them off, just send them out. All right, we we're gonna we're gonna speed up this process. Let's ship some Irish up into get space. them out of here. 
<laughs> One time I got a cookie puss cake and he had like that single teardrop near his eye. Oh, so I guess you, he killed somebody. I don't he know. He murdered somebody. That's what that means. So I don't know. He was in, he, well, he was in space prison. He was actually a smuggler. Oh. And uh, well, he got involved with some gangs yeah. in, in prison. But now he's out and he's on your plate for your birthday, <laughs> for your ninth year, nine year old birthday party. Watching he's WrestleMania. Watching WrestleMania. Nobody get crying. All right. Nobody get hit with a chair. <laughs> we, got, we got really yelled at because, you know. The part of the deal was like, don't fight each other, which like, yeah, tell a bunch of nine-year-old boys watching WrestleMania not, not to, to fight, fight each other. other. They sold Wrestle Buddies yeah. so that you could take your anger out on them. And what it wasn't enough. <laughs> you gotta hit a real person. That's when you said to your friend, hey, come here. I want to try something. Yeah. And then you put them in a tombstone and then in a wheelchair <laughs> for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Well, should have been tougher. Hey. Build up your neck bone muscles. Should have known. Should have known before you stepped into the ring with the dead man. <laughs> and then, the Undertaker. <laughs> Rest in <laughs> peace. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your favorite wrestling character when you were a kid? When I was a kid, uh, we had a we we had rented like a Raw, yeah. the video game. And for some reason, I was good with the body Rick Martel. Mm-hmm. So I just said that he was my the favorite, favorite wrestler. Yeah. But uh, I, I, that didn't last long. Obviously, <laughs> when I was watching WCW and WL, uh, Sting and Stone Cold yeah. in the Attitude Era, like I I had a Stone Cold shirt. Oh, man. Didn't have a Sting shirt. Wish I had oh, one. God. Hated the NWL. Yeah, I didn't like them either. That was a little bit uh, like I sort of started waning a little bit because wrestling got super crazy. With like the Monday Night War, like everything went kind of crazy it, a little it, bit. It's it's really good for a little bit, and then it goes off the off, the, goes, off the rails on a crazy train. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I liked the uh, the Rockers a uh, lot. Oh yeah, the Rockers were really awesome. Shawn you Michaels. had a, you have a Rockers hat apparently. I did. I had a Rockers like skateboard hat with the giant brim. It was neon green. Oh my with, god! With like flecks of neon red and pink and shit whatever pink i guess is neon red uh-huh. and uh it said rockers and like the rockers like kind of font whatever 90s font mm-hmm. that was i don't know where it is but you need to find it and you need to start wearing that dude i think it's gone i think it's i'll i'll, I'll try to look on ebay for one i might buy one again yeah it's probably not none of them too good i looking. think it's worth it there's a picture of me in florida in like uh the west coast of florida wearing this hat because it was 1993 and i was dope as shit still are still are a little less dope without the hat but <laughs> yeah a little less i'm gonna get, I'm, i have to be honest with you. i, I, I accept that cool. i totally accept that how about you did you you like the rockers i like the then... rockers and i liked um ultimate warrior was always fun of course crazy how could he, he not he was crazy uh yeah I don't know. Who else did I... I like Big Boss Man for a little bit. He was kind of cool. Yeah, when he was face. Yeah, and I like the Legion of Doom with the spikes. Of course. Those dudes are awesome. Those were the best toys. Those are just two big-ass men from Minnesota. Yeah. They're cool. I met the... um, What's the guy's name? Uh, the nasty boy, nasty boys. Oh, the, one of the nasty boys. I you met, met their dad. <laughs> what? Yeah, because he's from around like kind of where I live, like up like Central PA. Oh yeah. Like, I'm not, I don't live in Central PA, but like they're from up there. So like we went to um in middle school we go to outdoor school, which is like camping school. This is a thing that was mm-hmm. real. And he was the snake man. He was the guy who brought all the snakes and reptiles. And oh man, he's a nasty dad. Yeah, he was like, you might know my <laughs> sons. The Nasty Boys. The Nasty Boys. <laughs> and people were like, what? And their mother, <laughs> Nasty Mom. <laughs> nasty Mama. <laughs> nasty Mama. <laughs> Why could they never developed that storyline? Well. Where's the Nasty Family? They need us. They need <laughs> us to write this. <laughs> Dear WWE. <laughs> I've got a nasty storyline for you. <laughs> so buckle in. Buckle in. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Let's take a break. Let's get. Let's send it. Let's take our okay. mid-story break right. right now. We're gonna come right back. Music goes here. <laughs> Music goes here.
right, we are back, and Josh just had a great idea. Yeah, for once. For once. Thank <laughs> God. Finally. Well, but I guess before we get into this, why don't we go ahead and say that um, just for fun, we're going to do an AMA on uh, our subreddit, yeah. which is reddit.com slash r slash fantasy fic. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know, what do you want to do? It's Saturday? It's still Saturday. All right, let's say we're going to do it Saturday. We'll make a post that'll say, uh, remind you to... Yeah. Put your questions here at whatever time. Probably just all day Saturday. It doesn't yeah, matter. whatever. But uh, really, it's just for fun. Like we like talking with you guys, and uh, it's a way to just have some questions answered. If you had any questions about the show, yeah, and uh, or about anything we do, it could be anything. You know, it's ask me anything. A M A. And me. <laughs> You want to ask me about physics? We can talk about physics. We don't ask have, me about physics. As long as I got an answer, you're getting one. Yeah, yeah. But I don't got the answers for everything. Not right now. So don't look to me. I'm not your mom. <laughs> but, uh, but we're going to do an AMA Saturday. It'll be fun. Uh, we're just trying to think of like fun ways to promote the show or just yeah. get conversation about the show. So maybe uh, if someone hasn't listened in a while, they'll see the AMA, ask a question, get back involved. Who knows? Who, Who knows? knows? <laughs> Who's gonna, maybe Obama will see it. I would think I'm gonna he send, would. I'm going to email it to the White House. Say, dear Mr. Obama. Any questions for Dom or Josh? He'd be like, what? <laughs> Because I got a question, Mr. Obama. Or should I say, ork Obama? <laughs> and then he'll be like, you know the truth. Legalize. What's your question What's your question for Obama? Legalize it. Sorry. Legalize it. It's not a question. Just do it. Bitch. Fuck. But anyway, we're going to do an AMA there. That'll be fun. Mm-hmm. And uh, But right now, Josh <laughs> threw out there that we talk about how we write a story. Yeah. How do you, how do you write your stories, Josh? Well, I mean, obviously, we have the prompt or prompts. And what I typically start out with is fantasy is just mythology. And I've always loved mythology, you know, the idea that, like, a story can have truth in it but not Mm -hmm. be factual. Sure. So I always try to take something um, along the lines of, like, a mythological tale, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like, a moral, like, a fairy tale, kind of. Which are fairy tales are just mythology from a certain time period in a certain place. Mm Mm-hmm. So I like to do that, and then it's just a matter of how ridiculous of the thing I can think of to make myself laugh. Yeah, where can we turn it to where yeah. it's just being so, so silly? Yeah, sometimes it works out really easily, and sometimes it's like the most difficult thing because like you want to constantly outdo yourself, and that's really tough to do. Yeah, it's 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 tough to go into it with that like uh, uh, kind of expectation yeah. for yourself. Yeah. It, I find that that puts me in my worst positions and yeah. it becomes the hardest to write. Yeah. The easiest way for me to write an episode and I've been doing it for 50 something mm-hmm. episodes with you, but I always forget it. Like a uh, baseball player goes through a slump or something. Yeah. You forget how to do what you do and how you have the most fun doing it. And that's just like starting with just a dumb joke and yeah. finding a way to put it in a story. And then just like, thinking of cool things i like about fantasy that i would like to occur and then mixing the two and finding yeah. in, in, in a, a fun balance but like sometimes i'll just be like i think the time that i wrote like make my dick cry white tears yeah, or something yeah, yeah. i woke up one morning and i thought of that and i just wrote that yeah. down and that's where that story started. a lot of a lot of times like that that totally happens um a lot of people say this about other things a lot of writers say this about you know songwriting some people uh wake up right in the early in the morning and they write a song because mm-hmm. they find that that's like the time. A lot of times that happens to me. Like I'll wake up from like falling asleep and I'll just be like, oh, that's funny. Write mm-hmm. that down. That's what transcendental meditation yeah. is all about. Giving yourself that time to where you would become aware mm-hmm. and be able to capture those ideas. Yeah. Uh, there's a cool audio book that you can find on probably audible.com slash fantasy fiction. <laughs> Get your free audio book down. Oh, who's that? Oh, 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 who is that? Did you just hear that? Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my God. He said goodbye. He just vanished. Oh. Jesus. Oh, my God. There's like a face and a ball like Madame Leota of the Haunted Mansion because I'm going went back to Disneyland when I go back to <laughs> That's Alley, the man. real reason you're going. That's why I'm going back, dude. I miss Disney. Give me a Mickey pretzel. Dude, there was a time when I think, like, when you got out there and you were comfortable and, like, you're kind of, like, getting in your flow where you were like, I'm going to Disneyland again. Like, yeah, every like week. every week. I went to Disneyland, like, 
15 times one year. That's crazy. It's dope. It, when you have a pass, you got to make you got to make it worth well, it. Well, they just give you a pass, right? You live in the California. They're like, just come to Disneyland. Yeah, this is part of it, dude. Get in here. I've only been to Disney World. Well, you're going to have to come to Disneyland. You're going to have to come visit while I'm out there. Though. I will do that. I heard, and I'm going to say this. What did you hear? At not Disney World, but the park that Harry Potter is in, whatever that... Yeah, Universal. Universal, Florida, that was called. They change the name yeah. of it like every two days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that if you get like the wand, if you go to Ollivander's and you get your wand uh-huh. and it picks you, you know, whatever the mythology of that is in the yeah. show, in the movie, uh, you can interact with things in the park with your wand. What? There's like a chip in there, and it does things if you That's will. amazing. That's incredible. You know, I'm really happy about that park. This is super tangential. I want to oh, get yeah. back. To, you'll have to remind me what we were talking about. I don't but. remember. <laughs> writing. We were talking about writing. We were talking about writing. We will get right back there. Uh, but I love that Universal is finally like fleshing out a lot of its stuff, yeah. and like Simpsons part is becoming a bigger part of the park, yeah. and like now they have all these new pieces because... What they do at Disneyland is so rad, and then those people who have those jobs mm-hmm. are so awesome at what they do. Yeah, but they are limited because they can only do certain stuff for Disney. Like they can right. only do it for families. Whereas with Universal, it's uh, catering to a wider demographic. Sure. Still children mostly, but like stuff like that. Like that's a new thing due to technology. Yeah, and it's like when you go into these places, you are truly entering a world. That's the way it should and, be. And 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 a and a experience yeah. of magic. It, it should, should be. it should be like I mean I went to I guess MGM or Universal or whatever it used to be called with the uh, the Star Wars ride and then they had the Indiana Jones which isn't there and then you have the tour. Mm-hmm. And it's it's like it was cool, but it's all these little snippets of things that are awesome when it should just be, you know, and, and I can say this because Disney is a massive billion dollar corporation that just throws money at stuff. Yeah. It should just be these huge parks of, you know, Harry Potter world and Star Wars. It should just be those things. Yeah. Well, that's what Tomorrowland, like that's the rumors is that Tomorrowland will fully flesh out, like they're going to expand it and then yeah. like, it's going to have a lot more Star Wars stuff. But Oh we'll yeah. See. But anyway, back to writing. Yeah, um, I, w- I was going to say something about it uh, that I don't remember right now. <laughs> well, I, I think what's fun about this show and what we try to c- encourage in this show is that don't be afraid to write a bad first draft. Because that's essentially... Every first draft that, is bad. That, that, that's essentially the show. It's the worst first draft. Right, like, right. It's that's so an, that should be like, that, that could be like the name of the show. <laughs> like, if it wasn't called Fantasy Fiction, the worst first draft. <laughs> yeah. That's what it should be called. Yeah, it should be like something that nobody should be reading. And that's why yeah. it's funny. It's just like it's so bad, but we fill it full of jokes and right. stuff and just make everything over the top ridiculous. I love writing... Uh, action and i don't do it very often i write i notice i write a lot of setup and dialogue because i like the way characters interact in stories like Mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite things in a story um but writing action is makes me laugh every single time yeah because there's just so many crazy impossible things that are hilarious like throwing a sword into space well that's why i love (laughs) cartoons yeah cartoons are great because you just like anything could happen yeah. and that's like it's the perfect form so yeah this would be a great cartoon yeah hello disney hello uncle money bags uncle money man <laughs> wait is it uh, money bags penny or bags? Money, money penny or pe- penny bags Pe- uncle rich uncle penny bags is, is that his name. the monopoly that's guy the monopoly that's guy. who i was referring to as if the monopoly <laughs> yeah. man was my uncle uh which i I would not be upset if that turned out to be. That would be I'm fine. gonna go on ancestry.com and see if <laughs> ancestry.com slash fat does wow, what the hell is he doing? It? Oh, I remember what we were talking about. What's that? We were talking about transcendental transcendental meditation. meditation. Yeah. If I could say it right, I would. Maybe I need to do something. Maybe you could do some more. <laughs> but I I mean, you know, it is kind of a thing where yeah. you have to pay money and then you go and you pay more money and you go and you pay it's, more money. Yeah. But I think the some of the logic behind it and probably just meditation in general is that if you give yourself that time to yeah. relax and focus your energy and, uh, in my case, power nap, <laughs> yeah, uh, you will find that when you wake up or when you come out of those situations, you are your most creative and sometimes have your best ideas. You, I, I've done meditation on and off for uh, a, a while and it's not something i, I typically talk about because it's very you kind of come off sound like like whatever but like i've noticed that the times i've really focused on trying to meditate and stuff that those were the best times 
of my life because sure. you're more able to cope with just the normal everyday that does that becomes nothing I anymore. Mean, that's easy mm-hmm. it, it becomes like in a way what you live for in a weird way and then it allows you to be creative because you're not worried about like how am i gonna pay my car payment you're sort of just like eh, whatever you know you, you know and i think it's something that we forget to give ourselves yeah. in the sense that when we have a schedule where we have time set aside for meditation then it's a lot easier to go about the rest of your day and right. the things you need to do it's those moments when like you're trying to find time and like you're trying to fit meditation in in a like a jam-packed schedule yeah. where it's just like you don't even do it and then you're just miserable you would just sit there and you're fucking miserable and that happens anyway sometimes like sometimes you'll meditate and you'll be like this sucks like yeah. it's not fun meditating is not fun well it's <laughs> i mean it's 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 kind of just removing yourself right. so that you can come back down to you and focus on what is most important for you in that moment it's too. it's like exercise but it's your mind's exercise mm-hmm. and like you can get really addicted to exercise. I've I've gotten addicted to running and stuff before. Yeah, and uh, but it can also at some. You know, I'm addicted to my biceps. Yeah, I'm addicted to them. I do I do the recon Ron pull up program. Oh yeah, <laughs> do you know what that is? No, what is that? It's just it, I don't know who recon Ron is. But, sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's just a pull up program that like adds to pull up. Like you oh, do, yeah, yeah, you do yeah. five sets. I think you may have sent that to me or. Paul sent me something because I have one of those bars. Dude, you got to do it. If you could do pull-ups, look, yeah. this, I'm on week 10. This Dude. is my bicep right now. Dude, mm. I, can, I, I, <laughs> my, I used to do pull-ups and run. And when I was, right before we did Smart Guys, I was like, I got to look good. <laughs> so I was doing like 10 pull-ups at a time, which is like pretty good. It's pretty good. I My, my set starts with 10 pull-ups. That's right crazy. So it's like 10, wait a minute and a half. Eight, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, six, six. Yeah. yeah. Do you do like squats and stuff too? Paul I'm gonna anything. start doing body squats yeah. now. Like it's something that's so easy to fit into your routine. Yeah. That it's worth it. It's easier too if you have one of those bars that you put on your door and you can just fucking and like upside down squat. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best. If you can, if you can just yeah. <laughs> Anti gravity. Anti gravity. Oh, uh, and if you have a hyperbolic t- chamber, set it to 100. Yeah. And then train in it. Send it to 100. A times day is Earth a year. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever you got all the time just take one time. day to train for one year <laughs> but uh back to the meditation thing yeah. it's uh something i have to get back into the routine of doing because uh it's just better for you it's exercise for your brain yeah, that, totally, yeah. that's that that's the thing that i i i think like you and i are very similar and i i tend to like beat myself up that i don't do it enough and then you sort of fall into this trap of like it becomes a thing like a work um, but like that's everybody who's ever meditated is they they go in and out of it. I mean, unless you're like a fucking monk, who that's like what you're there to do. Or you know? David Lynch, or where da- right. you have to have a room right set aside for you. <laughs> yeah, you but uh, it's called Catching the Big Fish. That book, if you want to listen mm-hmm. to it, it's uh, it is on Audible. You can use uh, our URL audiblecom fiction. and uh, yeah, it's a free download. It's a good book. I would recommend it. Yeah. That totally came out of this conversation. All right, guys. I did not write that down. That was not a plan. It was not a plan thing, but <laughs> we did talk about the book. You might even be able to find it. Yeah. I don't know. Just you, do a search. You can you know, the pirate bag. <laughs> <laughs> that place where you got it? your porn. It's just right there. <laughs> it's just right next to that porn. Dude, Comcast was like, you gotta stop downloading porn. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, Comcast. <laughs> Uh, but hey, why don't you say we take one more break? All right. We'll set it to a break and we'll come back and wrap it up. What do you say? Sounds good. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Guys, there is now a fantasy fiction Wikipedia page. There have been a few in the past. Some were abandoned, some were not. But Mm -hmm. this one, we are going to call the definitive one. The canon. It's It's the canon one. This one is It's Canon Certified. (laughs) Put a stamp stamp on it. 100% 100 crazy. (laughs) Right, yes. (laughs) And then like a gif of Snoop Dogg doing the blingy thing from the blingy page. Some flames. <laughs> some, some flames. Uh, but that's it. It's, it's fantasyficky.com. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a 
Wikipedia page with our stuff on it. It's got There's a lot of stuff. A on lot it. of characters on it. You can see characters created by me, characters created by Josh. It's great. Yeah, you can do different uh, sections. You can do. I think there's an items section. If, and then there's a character section. It's You can divide it up any way you like. It's uh, really cool. It's pretty awesome. The people that worked on it really put time into it. And if you want to contribute, you can go ahead and uh, help out as well. Yeah. But the character pages have episodes that the characters have appeared in. So yeah. if you're looking for a specific episode, you don't remember what it was, but it was like a Biff story or right. a Swift Dagger, you can look it up and it'll show you which Where? episodes he appeared in. I was looking at it and I was like, man, that's so... I feel so bad because I don't even know <laughs> some of the t- like I think we've done a pretty freaking good job of like keeping things uh, continuity wise pretty pretty tight for the most part for the most part sometimes but I mean that's the that's the nature of the show honestly it's yeah. a first draft like right. we just talked about it's it's just for fun we are trying to make our each other laugh yeah. so if things contradict sometimes that's no problem yeah. but. We've done a pretty good job of yeah, maintaining are, canon. <laughs> there are times when I go back and I have to look at, uh, you know, but now I don't have to go back into my file, my freaking save files, and read an entire story to fi- figure out what of a character who, did. who appeared where. Yeah. I just go to Fantasy Fiction Wiki. Fantasy Fiki. Fiki. F I K I dot com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, just a shout out, thank you, Luke, for helping out mm-hmm. and putting a lot of work into that. Thank you so yeah. much. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Uh, we also wanted to say thank you. To Richard Johnson, mm. who sent us some fucking <laughs> Hobbit hero clicks. Oh, yeah. Which were awesome. Here they are. Here. Uh, <laughs> but also sent us a stack of Conan the Barbarian all chrome cards. And Radical. these are just like different art. You tweeted one out. I tweeted the, my favorite one that I, it's the, it was the first one. And I was like, this is the best card ever. It's, a, it's Conan fighting a guy. With like I don't know what that is like, like some a, kind of robot man yeah robot man and there's a kitty cat just <laughs> peeping them just a looking giant cat they are like tiny size for yeah some they're reason. like yeah. some sorcery <laughs> some wizardry is going on you know I never cared about chrome cards in my life yeah. but the chrome on these I'm like ooh do you remember shy. like getting like <laughs> cards. And the smell of like the packet and stuff. Yeah, dude, get it. Magic oh, cards. Ma- did you ever? Collect? I never got them into magic. Oh man, you missed a good card I smell. Know, Actually, I know. you can just go. They still smell the same. You could tell the difference. I remember getting a pinnacle card, football cards. Mm-hmm. You could tell the difference from the smell. Oh yeah, weird. Very, <laughs> very weird that we like certain smells like it's that. Strange. Uh, but <laughs> when you got a chrome or I guess foil, foil magic yeah. card dope dude yeah pretty dope that's like time. your whole day dude that's like it's drugs dude you might as well it's hang it up because it's not gonna get better yo <laughs> life gets harder and suckier <laughs> <laughs> so thank you to richard johnson for sending us those uh if you guys sent us anything and we didn't talk about it on the show send us a message because yeah. sometimes we just forget to bring it up like it just falls through the cracks so send us a message so we could properly thank you because yeah. we've got a couple things and i'm not sure well, people if have we been, brought it up people have been doing a lot of artwork lately some really incredible stuff and i you know you or i usually retweet it pretty much constantly anytime yeah. anyone sends me something because i'm always blown away mm-hmm. by like well there there was that collage of all your characters yeah that was awesome. uh, that was really awesome you could find that on our tumblr as yeah. well we've been reblogging some art there yeah. tumblr.com slash fantasy fic pod i think right yeah i think that's it so you can check that out as well there was also some uh diamond the orc Di- fan yeah, art. Diamond. he was just he was just spinning on his boner <laughs> I think that was, was that, that might be Dan Jones. I think no, that, that was Josh Howell. Oh, Josh, Josh Howell. Sorry, Howell. yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. Dan Jones may be listening to this. Maybe <laughs> he also listens to the show. Hello, Dan, <laughs> friend of ours. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was Josh Howell, also a friend of ours. Really nice guy. Someone drew smooth body. Oh, there was a great smooth body yeah. illustration. Yeah. Smooth oh. body. <laughs> you know, we should have prepared all this. We should have wrote down. We some should names. have done some producing <laughs> and actually. Well, made. I did some. I, I got this I got this list here, but it's it's very difficult to like. I mean. We've been getting a crazy amount of fan art, and it's it's pretty it's pretty tough to go back on Twitter anyway to 
you know, usually I, we try to put it up on Facebook, but even then it's hard to get back to look at the names because the websites don't work good. <laughs> no, well, Tumblr's really <laughs> pain in the butt. Like, yeah. they don't tell you when you've been, like, mentioned or anything. Yeah, I've right, never, yeah. I don't know how to use that crap. Dude, it's, Like, that, that's one thing where I'm like, maybe I'm too old for this. Like, yeah, I keep yeah, going back to it. Yeah. I'm like, maybe I'm too old for this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe this is where I start losing touch. Is Tumblr, but I think it's just a bad website. Yeah, it's just it just looks uh, like a website from 1996 mm. and functions like that a little bit. <laughs> but if you send us art and we didn't uh, we, we didn't hear back from us, send us an email with the art in it and a link or something. Yeah. Feel free, fantasyficpod at gmail dot com. If you want to support the show, you can pick up some merch at fantasyfiction.bigcartel.com. dot com. You can also leave us an iTunes review on iTunes. <laughs> Weirdly enough. We got one here. Would you like to read it, Jack? I cannot see. Oh, you don't have your glasses on. Blind. I'll read it. I'll read it. <laughs> this is by That Dank Wizard. Appropriate for our episode. Beautiful. This is Wizard Hang 1. Yeah. Maybe the only Wizard Hang because I'm moving and this will be... <laughs> So well, maybe, yeah. well, maybe we'll hang out a lot. There might be. Yeah. There's probably. We yeah. watch Eagles games on Sunday. Yeah, we, we, we do. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so there's a, there's a Tim Allen techno song. Type that into YouTube and listen to that. Uh, we, we, we used to play that when the Eagles were doing it. <laughs> yep, yep. It's a celebratory uh, Eagles. Us drunk on Ventrilo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, this uh, review comes from That Dank Wizard. It's titled, Dis Way Fo Dat Good Good. <laughs> If you love hanging with friends, then you just found your two new best friends. Aww. Cast aside all you love and devote your eyes, your sound eyes, sound to <laughs> fantasy fiction. That might be one of the most fantasy fiction things sound that eyes. I've heard that somebody yeah, else okay. made. That sounds like something we would do. I'm into it. It's beautiful. <laughs> and it's appropriate, very appropriate for this episode. We're just hanging. Yeah. We're just hanging, yeah. guys. Hang I on. hope you liked it. I hope you liked hanging with us. We're not yeah. done yet. We're still talking. Still some stuff to talk about. Uh, if you're listening to this episode on YouTube, go ahead and like this episode. I know that it's an easy thing to do, so just do it. <laughs> just fucking, basically, just fucking do it. <laughs> you don't have to, because I, I, I mean, you know, I don't always do it. Right, it doesn't matter. But I, I try to support the, the ones I like, try to click the like button so yeah, people can see it's it. it's good. I, I always use it as a as a reference point for something. If I want to go back, you know, if I like it, I'm going to want to watch it again. That's the whole point of YouTube, right? So mm-hmm. I usually like it so I know that I liked it. If you have a prompt, I guess we still have our prompts from next last week. Yeah, so we're we won't do, be, do. We won't be asking for prompts right now. Yeah. Um, but What are we doing? We're doing... Oh, uh, I actually have that written down. Let okay. Me see. It's, uh, we're going to be doing Warlocks, uh, submitted by Eldon Fisher, and Magic Pens, submitted by Tree Turtle, which is, Tree Turtle. I assume, a real person's name. That's, that's <laughs> on the birth certificate. <laughs> but I guess that's it, Josh. Anything that's else you want to talk about? No, I think we we talked about all of our adventures. We went to breakfast this morning. Did we talk about that? Yeah. Oh, shit. We didn't talk about that. Let's end. All right. Let's and- End this tale from whence it began. This morning. This morning. We went to a place in Philly called Hinge. Just a walk from my house here. Which everything in Philly has to have a cool name like Hinge or Lockpick. Honeys. Honeys. Lockpick. Lockpick. It sounds like a gay bar. (laughs) There's like corkscrewing. That's just the name of one. Ratchet. (laughs) Uh, Callous Knuckle, I think, is one. Uh, bloody foot <laughs> blood foot oh, <laughs> go down to blood foot for a shot uh, but we went to Hinge and we got some awesome breakfast It was uh, I got the, the Balboa skillet what did it have in it it had Everything. sausage it had Italian sausage Italian sausage sausage tomatoes some kind of cheese I think it's American cheese uh, my eggs no the American it, it had like provolone was I it think. provolone okay provolone because it's Balboa that's right Italian, you're right Italian. roasted peppers roasted peppers eggs Eggs. Potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes. Anything else? Peppers. Uh, an old boot. <laughs> Peppers and onions. An old boot. Philly uh Philly uh worksmanship. Yeah, Philly sausage and old boot. Philly blue collar. <laughs> Ground up old boot. <laughs> <laughs> I always hate like that's the one thing I hate about this city. Um you go to eat someplace and somebody always has to have the 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 Balboa or the the Rocky Hoagie. Yeah, well, that's all we have. I know. Dude. I Give know. us that. It's sad here. It's a very sad place. And it's like I always think I look like an idiot because I'm like 
you know, I've lived not in the city, my, but I've, I've lived here my whole life. Like, I'm not, yeah. I always feel like a tourist. Like, I'm like, I'll take the Balboa, you know? Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But it, it was it good? It was delicious. It was yeah. a lot of food. Hinge is a very delicious place. If you live in Philadelphia or you visit Port Richmond for whatever reason, <laughs> which is a neighborhood in Philadelphia, yeah. uh, go to Hinge. It's a great, it's a great restaurant. It's, yeah. it's delicious breakfast. I had Irish potato French toast. Yeah, look, it looked like candy. It looked it's, like a cake. It was so good. It was uh, uh, Irish potatoes are an, also at a Philadelphia thing. Yeah. It's basically uh, frosting rolled up into a ball <laughs> and rolled in cinnamon yeah. and with coconut in it. So it's oh, like I had coconut in it. Uh, an Irish potato is just cream cheese, powdered sugar, butter, and then that's all whipped together, and Holy then you roll shit. it in a ball. I should have got that. It's it's it, it's really good. It's really good French toast. I also had. The Winter Wonder Plate. The Winter Wonder Plate looked good, too. Dude, I thought about that for a minute. Eggs over medium. Give me that white toast. I don't care. Wheat toast. Let me tell you about wheat toast, all right? People have been eating white toast forever. That's and true. Guess where it got us. They're all living to be 98, 99. People <laughs> ate shit out of cans and look disgusting. Those same people. Doesn't matter. Wheat toast is not going to save you. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna live longer because you had wheat toast more than white toast. Like it's I'm, gonna still be, bread. I'm gonna be on my deathbed, pissed that I've been eating <laughs> shitty ass wheat toast. I'm still dying. <laughs> give me, give me that white toast with just butter on it. That's your last words. I should have had more white toast. <laughs> more white toast. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> I also had some oatmeal, oatmeal with some uh, some pear sauce. Yeah, pear. That's what turned me off. The pear. I'm not uh, a big. You don't like pears? I like pears. They're all right. I don't not like pears, but like I wouldn't go out of my way to have a pear. Shout out to all the pear. Did you see that Rick Ross thing? No. He did a uh, interview where he lost weight and uh, he said he had been eating a bunch of pears. Uh-huh. And he said, "Shout out to all the pear eaters." And someone did a vine and it cut off right at pear. So it was just <laughs> shout out I, pears. I ate a lot of pear. Shout out to all the pear. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just that. And then there were some uh, pretty funny images that came out, like of uh, Rick Ross like wilding out during like a music video yeah. where I think it would have been, it might have been like Hold Me Back or something. Right, right. But he's like looking crazy, and it just says <laughs> When You See a Pear. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking great. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. But uh, I, it's a great breakfast place. Go check it out. Hinge Cafe. Delicious. I like a, a good oatmeal. oatmeal. I'm a oh, big oatmeal I love guy. It. You know what uh, Corey thought of? Yeah. And it's awesome. Make oatmeal, just Irish oatmeal, plain oatmeal. Put a little scoop of jelly and a little scoop of peanut butter. Mix around PBJ oatmeal. God damn it. Oh my God. She should work at Hinge. I know. She should. She could <laughs> fucking so invent all there. this food. PBJ oatmeal, baby. Damn, oh, it's man. good. It's good. Last thing I want to talk about, Josh. Mm, yeah. I watched The Return of the King Rank and Bass oh, yeah. cartoon for the first time. Have I don't, you seen it? I have not seen it. Luke has the the Lord of the Rings one. Oh, that's the Ralph Bakshi one. Okay, that's the, okay. That's I the was, rotoscoped one. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, you were saying that they only did uh, Lord, uh, Return of the King and the Hobbit Rank and Bass. Yeah, I've only so, seen the Hobbit. Then. Yeah, so Rank and Bass, the company that did like Frosty the Snowman and yeah. uh, you know all the stop animated mm-hmm. Rudolph movies. They also did a Hobbit cartoon in 1977, which and is it's great. Great. It's yeah. a very good adaptation of the yeah. book. I love it. Um, the backgrounds are beautiful. Gollum is awesome. Gollum is awesome. That's like when I think of Gollum, I think of that Gollum. The, des- the design of a lot of that yeah. is really cool. Gandalf looks really cool, and it's mostly mm-hmm. uh, watercolor backgrounds, I think. Yeah. Not all. But then they did Return of the King to kind of wrap up the entire it, tale. Skip to over. Be like, okay, <laughs> Bilbo gets the ring, and then it starts off with like them at Bilbo's birthday in uh, with Elrond. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. like they're like... Frodo only has nine fingers, and that's the song that plays throughout. It's like, Frodo and the nine fingers in the ring of doom. That's what plays throughout the movie. It's a little little cheesy, but it's it's pretty great. Um, But it starts off there, and then they they kind of tell all the in-between. They wrap it up pretty quickly, believe it or not. But then, uh, yeah, watch that. It's great. It's fantastic. i never seen it before. I love The Hobbit. Finally watched Return of the King. Choice. Dude, I love... love all i'll sit down on a sunday and i'll watch every single lord of the rings i don't give a shit dude you gotta do trilogy sunday dude one time me and my buddy did 
six Star Wars films, all of them in a row. Oh my god! It was it was horrible toward the end. I was like, I don't care anymore. Who- Damn, on Return <laughs> too. I love Return. <laughs> it was like fourteen hours, and I was like, ah, no, oh. no. Yeah, well, that's what it, I went to Trilogy Tuesday. I may have told this before, but yeah. I went to Trilogy Tuesday for Lord of the Rings, and they played Return of the King at ten o'clock. Yeah, I've been there all day. Yeah, it stunk. I, I was saw- I was in the front row. Oh my god! Yeah, it was bad. I saw Return of the King at midnight when it came out, and that shit goes on forever. I got home at like six in the morning. There's like dude. six fade to whites, D- dude. <laughs> I had to piss. So I mean, it's like every everyone who sees it, but I had to piss so bad, and I was like, "This is the end. I can't fucking leave. I can fucking this is the movie. What this is the, time, is the whole thing. What are the time they're gonna fade out? Yeah. and it's gonna fade out forever yeah. and not come. One back of them. On, so. It was noticeable, I will say. Now, watching it like a million times, it's less noticeable because you kind of are like, okay, well, they're wrapping up. But yeah. when when I first saw it, I was like, you got to end this now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, I remember watching it a, a couple times in the theater because I, I think I saw all of them three times. Yeah. And the last time I saw it, like the audience was audibly like, Ugh. when it yeah. came back, yeah. <laughs> seeing Frodo's nipples. Oh, man. Wow. I had a cramp in my foot. Well, let's let's end it on that if you got a cramp in your foot. I'm dying. I, I podcasted too hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, guys, for joining us. We'll return next week with some real-ass stories of fantasy. Warlocks and pen, magic pens. Magic pens. <laughs> or quills or, or ink. quills, whatever you want to call it. Pencils. Pencils. Yeah, None of those Chinese pencils that smear the... Uh, oh, we were lead. talking about that last yeah, night, too. Yeah, we talked about that last night, too. We went to some cool places. We, well, yeah, we had a little hope. <laughs> and now we're going to a cooler place. Heaven. Bye. Bye. Josh, before we go. <laughs> before we go, thanks for listening. And keep on wizarding. Keep on wizarding. We'll see you next week with real stories. Thanks, everyone. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye.